Welcome to the Robert C. Williams Museum of Papermaking and a new year of paper play activities. Since 2022 is the year of the tiger, today we're going to be learning how to make a tiger. For this project, you're going to need two pieces of square origami paper, a bigger one for the body and a smaller one for the head. Mine are about 14 by 14 centimeters and 12 by 12 centimeters. Since we're making a tiger, you can use yellow or orange paper. And we're also going to need a Sharpie to draw on our stripes. We're first going to make the body of our tiger. So we're going to fold our big origami square into four squares, like this way. Fold this way, and fold, and fold in half again create four squares. Now we're going to take our edges and fold them towards the middle. So we have this edge right here towards the middle. To create a rectangle. We're going to do the same thing for this side. Next, we're going to unfold these folds that we just made. And then I'm going to fold a diagonal this way. And so I'm going to start on the one, two, third square from my left. And I'm going to fold a diagonal from this corner right here all the way to this corner right there. Fold, fold it straight so that this edge lines up with this crease. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Now you can see two diagonal folds that are inside right here. And now all we're gonna do is fold this over. And make sure that our lines are very crisp and straight. We're gonna do the same thing for our other side now. Now we're going to flip this over on its side and we're going to take this corner right here and use it as our pivot. And I'm going to fold another diagonal line up about halfway. And my crease right here is in line with my fold line right here. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Use this side as my pivot, and then fold this up. Now we're going to flip this so that our triangles are at the bottom. And we're going to take these two flaps, and we're going to fold them towards our edge right here. And do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do something similar on the bottoms, bottom two triangles. I'm going to fold all the way so that this edge meets this edge right here. Like that. Like so. Now at these folds, we're going to unfold one of them and fold another triangle. So here at our bottom folds, we're going to fold a triangle towards the center right here, this line right here, and fold over that first fold that we just made. Like so. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. We're going to fold a triangle towards this middle edge right here, and then fold over the first fold that we made. Now we're going to go on to our top folds, these two triangles right here. We're going to do something similar where we're going to fold a triangle that where the edge, this edge right here meets this edge over here. 
And we're going to fold down all the way to this corner that we folded. So right here. And fold over the first fold again. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to fold these pointy edges down so that we have a little stump. So we're going to fold down a little bit like this. And you can use your fingernails to push them down harder if they're not folding all the way. And once you flip it over, there's our body for our tiger. Next, we're going to make the head of our tiger. So I'm going to fold diagonally like this twice. Unfold our diagonals. And now I'm going to fold two opposing edges towards the middle. Next, I'm going to take one of my edges and fold down towards this line right here. Make sure our edge, our triangle is still in the middle. Doesn't get slanted. And next, using this, using this crease right here, we're going to fold down one more time towards this line. And then we're just going to wrap our triangle back right there and fold this down and fold this top edge down with this. And now we have two layers right here. Next, I'm going to fold these edges towards the middle, but only up to this corner right here. So I'm going to stop folding right at that corner. Still making sure my lines are my edges are lining up now I'm going to take my flaps and then fold them over to this line right here next I'm going to unfold these flaps and then fold down this corner all the way to this crease we made right here on both sides. Then fold back over on them. And then we're going to fold our bottom two corners up towards the top diagonally. So that this corner right here meets this corner right there. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold a nose for a tiger. I'm going to fold down just a little bit of our triangle down here to form our nose. And next we're going to fold down these two ears all the way down so that we match this line right here. We're going to flip it one more time. And at these two corners right here, we're going to fold over all the way until we can't fold over anymore. So you're going to feel a little push from the paper where it won't budge anymore. And that's where you want to fold up to. And once we flip over, there's our head of our tiger. Now let's draw a cute face for our tiger. Some paws and some stripes. You can glue or tape the head onto the body. And that's it. We've made our tiger. We hope you enjoyed this activity and thank you for joining us for Paper Play.